Welcome to ICMTU, which is short for I Can't Make This Up. This is the show where people from different backgrounds come together to share true stories that have happened in their life. Today's shout out goes to Boom, Freetown Road. When you're in Jersey City, make sure you go to 640 Newark Ave in Jersey City, New Jersey. And welcome to another episode of I Can't Make This Up the show about bringing people together from different backgrounds through true stories. I'm your host, AJ Dunk, spelled all caps. You can find me at www.ajdunk.com. From there, you've got my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. It's all located at ajdunk.com. I invite all my guests here, and I consider all of them to be special. When a guest is taking time out of their day to be on an episode of I Can't Make This Up, how can I not consider them to be special? So guests, if you would, please introduce yourself. Hello, hey, I'm Alanya Thomas, and uh, this is my husband, Wayne, and we live in Fort Springs, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. So, oh, I see you in the background. That's how you do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Already pouring drinks. <laughs> how are you two feeling? We're doing great today. Uh, worked all day, came home, relaxing. Uh, got one kid at work and the other one taking a nap. So it's. <laughs> it, it, that, sounds, that sounds like. Blitz. We're checking in from Atlanta. Uh, maybe how far are we got from Atlanta? Maybe about maybe about thirty miles west, west, west of Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay. And we've been here since uh, we got married together in two thousand one. And we no, have uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You got married together. How else? Do yeah. you married? Is, is there another way? <laughs> so. Everybody that's tuned in, if this is your first time, if this is your 200th time, if this is your screen is stuck, and you're like, what is this? What is this? I'm explaining to you what's going to happen. All right. So, AJ Dunk, invite guests here to share true stories that have happened in their life. Now, these two, Wayne and Alwanya, are going to tell a story that has happened. While they're telling that story, Comment, 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 comment. I'm looking at him. Look at that. He's even commenting on <laughs> I told y'all paid attention, y'all. So comment, 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 comment. But if you have a question to ask about their story, there's a button down there that looks like this. Press that button and you submit your question. So if you want to say, hey, Hitman in the back, what you drinking? Bring it a little closer so we can see it. Then you submit your question. <laughs> Do you pinky promise that it's true? I hold fist promise that it's true. Okay. Please share this story that you not. I guess we'll start at maybe the beginning. Okay. <laughs> Wayne and I were enjoying a leisurely evening. Our youngest son, Noah, who's 16, calmly walks downstairs and he says, I've, I've got something stuck in my throat. We were like, what? What? He was in his room 
So he's playing with a water bottle and he poured some Sprite into an empty water bottle. He put the top on, then shook it up. And then he put the water bottle in his mouth and went to unscrew it with his teeth. And when he got it loose enough, the the power of the fizz shot the bottle top cap back into the back of his throat and down his throat, and it and it, it got lodged in in his esophagus. Right, Wayne was yelling at him. I was like, "Well, let's just calm down. Let's just calm down." So we just got in the car, drove. I mean, he could breathe, so we didn't call an ambulance. And so we just got in the car and drove ten minutes to our closest ER. And they were kind of looking at us with, you know, like really with disbelief because he could he could breathe. And it's like you could breathe and a bottle cap is in your esophagus. It's like, yeah, but you know, you could tell he was trying to clear his throat. And he kept saying, It's right here. It's right here. About nine o'clock that night, that's when it happened. They finally got an x-ray and they came back and said, We don't see it. And then and he's and they said, What? But we, but it might be there because bottle caps are plastic right. and somewhat translucent. It could be there. He was born with this Bader syndrome. So his esophagus and trachea did not connect at birth. He had to ship off to the children's hospital so they connect, could connect his trachea and, and esophagus. So anyway, uh, after a while they decided, okay, we talked to a, a gastroenterologist and we're gonna send you over to the children's hospital. Just go straight over there. Your nurse is Megan. Your room number is such and such. So just just go and just go ahead and check in. You're going to be a direct admit. Wayne dropped us off. I spent the night with Noah. About 8 o'clock that morning, nice doctor comes in. Shout out, Dr. Mella. So they decided, okay, we're going to take him to OR, and we're going to, we're going to do an upper endoscopy, and we're going to take a look and see if we see it. They came back. I came back to the room. They brought him back. Dr comes strolling in. He's kind of like, you know, big when Tom Hanks uh, loses his virginity and he comes back to work and he's skipping down the hall. That's kind of like what that doctor reminded me of when he came in. We found it. He had pictures of it and everything. He said it was in there. Uh, we had to make four passes. We had to scoop it out, but we finally got it. This wasn't the first time this happened. Oh, so no. <laughs> it wasn't such of a shock to us as when he was little, he ate a chicken nugget. And he didn't chew it up good, and it got caught. Yeah. And we had to take him to Children's. So, so when this happened, we kind of knew that he was gonna have to go down there. Yeah. And we were gonna have to get it out. So the reason why the cap got stuck and why he could still breathe and not choke on it is that it got lodged in in a shelf. And so the doctor says he he actually has a shelf there, and that's where it got shot. It got embedded in his in in there, and we actually caused some irritation. And even though it hadn't really been there that long, just overnight, but he had a shelf that actually caught it, so he 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 could breathe versus get you know I guess possibly choking on it. He could drink, but he can't. Yeah, eat. yeah. If he tries to drink, or maybe even eat, well, maybe drink, drink. It, everything will come back up if he's got something in there. So because he had something in his airway, they had to protect his airway. So they actually had to intubate him and and go in with an endoscopy. And, you know, of course, the bottle cap was in there. And then he had the nerve to come back from, from this procedure saying his throat hurt. I'm like, buddy, you had a lot going on in there. So, yeah, I bet your throat really hurt. So. <laughs> So you telling me that my man's got top shelf bar service in his throat. <laughs> exactly. Top shelf, baby. <laughs> well, he went to work the next day. Yeah, he went to work the next day. I do have video of him waking up from anesthesia where he was rapping. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Was his tone lower or was he speaking the same way? No. He, it was just normal. No, he kind of though did talk more softly. Like, you know, he was... It was, it was the same. It was, it was pretty much normal. I thought I heard soft. <laughs> it was because he said, Dad, I got a cap caught in my throat. And I'm like, well, what were you thinking? What did you? He probably saw it on YouTube. You know, probably something his kids that's, do. That's what I think. He, and he's sticking to his story, though. Everybody that's, that's listening, if you getting some Sprite, some, some, some Coca-Cola, I don't care. Anything with caffeine that come in a bottle and you drop it, you better well let it wait for two days or open it with your hand because it can get with your mouth. Right. Not everybody right. got top shelf. We can't all afford top shelf. That's right.
Wayne is like he's like a, he's like my extra host. It feels like he's in the comments commenting and he's telling the truth. Oh, you commenting too? <laughs> my sister swallowed a screw. What's up, Mike? What's up, Wow. Look at this comment. Somebody said, at least you didn't have to dig in food for the screw I swallowed when I was in two. Is that my sister? That's her sister. <laughs> Who was the calmest and does he still drink Sprite? Uh, I was the calmest and, and yes, he still drinks Sprite. But I was calm. What new thing did we learn about each other during the COVID quarantine? That Awanya likes to see me busy working. She doesn't like me to take a break. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. I'm just busy. You stay busy. He wanted to build a deck. I had nothing to do with that. He built a deck outside. Like he said. and our neighbor Sam built this deck, and it's beautiful. He's going to go ahead and do his little comments now. I know he's going to do it. <laughs> you can, but you can see them as well as he comments. You just have to catch it. <laughs> oh, I got yeah, I have to catch it. I don't see anything. Hmm. I'll go back and look at him. What was Wayne's pickle line for you, Alba? Going to the bathroom, and, and he kind of, as I walked by, he grabbed my arm very aggressively. And, and I don't remember what he said. I just remember, he, he, you know, I, it made me stop. And uh, and I don't remember what you said. Do you remember what you said? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spoken like a true alcoholic. Did you hear what Wayne just said? He said he thought I would make a good baby mama. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> I said that. I felt, did you say that? I love that shirt, New Jersey, right, right there. Hillspire, baby, represent. Represent. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. And listen, I don't have this song, but I gotta represent too. But uh, let's show you the back first. Whoop. AJ Dunk all uh, caps. <laughs> Booyah! And uh, let's show you the front. Laughter is always in style L about laughter. I feel like I have to laugh every day about something. How would you two like everybody to remember you? I want people to be able to count on me, like if I say I'm going to do something or whatever. What did Mr. Thomas say? She's a keeper. Oh, OK. Yeah. It was a privilege and it's an honor to be on your show. And I appreciate you for for uh, inviting us on and uh, drink bird dog. And uh, he says drink bird dog. He's doing a commercial for drink bird, bird dog. dog whiskey. Bird dog, uh, bird dog. I need my check. I need my check. Bird we, dog. Uh -huh, we all need checks. Mm, you looking great, my man. Oh, oh you must be blocking me. Oh, I'm blocking <laughs> If you believe this story, let me get an all caps. If you don't, let me get a Sprite Life. <laughs> all right, all caps. We got three all caps. Yes, this story is all caps certified. What we've learned today is if you have something carbonated and you drop it or you shake it up, whatever it may be, if it has a cap on it, something like this. If it has a cap, do not do that and open it, okay? As a kid, I used to take those, step on the bottle and go like this until the cap shot off. So when she said that it, the carbonation was in there and it shot, I know exactly how it felt. <laughs> I can't make this up. That's why the name of the show is what it is because you cannot write this. All right. Once again, my name is AJ Dunk, spelled all caps. You can find me at www.ajdunk.com. And from there, you got my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. It's all located at ajdunk.com. So go over there. I got sketches. I got stand-up. And I got some other things that start with S's. So make your way over there and just follow, share. I'd appreciate that. Send the live over to other people. Just support the kid, all right? Much love. Again, my name is AJ Dunk. Spell all caps. Don't forget, laughter's always in style and let them know, man.